Let's look at some common errors that you might run into or some problems that you might find when you're starting to work with custom functions. Um, one of the things that you'll probably see, if we go into the script editor, um, sometimes you'll type in your function and it either won't work or something won't happen. You know, for example, if I just create this function real quick, uh, we'll call it, you know, get 10, and I come back into my spreadsheet. One thing that you might see is that if I enter this, it's going to give me a name and it's going to tell me this function doesn't exist. And that's simply because we just didn't save the file yet. You know, if you haven't saved your project, um, then you're going to find out that you're not going to be able to find your functions. So now once we change that, we get this, we're going to get a loading. Sometimes it takes a minute, sometimes you have to, you know, reset it here. But if we hit get 10, we should get that response. So we get that, that right away. Um, another thing that you might find out is sometimes you just forget to return things. So maybe we have a function um, that, you know, is going to uh, just do some simple calculation. Maybe we'll say that we're going to call this function half. And uh, we'll pass in some value. And we can say var result is equal to value divided by 2. So now we save this, we do everything that we expect, and we use half of 20, and we don't get anything. And now that's, that's kind of weird because it's doing something, but the problem there is that we have not actually returned our results. So make sure you're always returning your result when you're trying to create a custom function. Uh, now you can see half of 20 is 10. That wasn't intentional, but they did end up being the same thing. Uh, Another thing that you might run into is, you know, we had that function get 10. Make sure you're typing the name in properly, you know, because it's not going to allow, it will allow you to use lowercase letters, but it won't allow you to have uh, typos. It won't allow you to miss letters, for example. Here, this get 10 is different from this get 10, which means that we're, we're just calling two different functions. So you can see here, this is saying, I don't, I don't know what this function is, but we can fix that pretty easily. So that's just one more problem that you might, uh, that you might actually find here. Um, another issue that you might come up against is, you know, as we're typing these, you'll see that we're not getting that autocomplete. We're not getting all that documentation. And that's just because we haven't marked these as custom functions. If we mark these as custom functions, then we will actually get that detail. So now when we save this, we should get there we go, it comes right up. So make sure that you're adding that custom function uh, tag, that custom function annotation, uh, because that will actually, that will help a lot. Another thing that you might run into, you know, let's say you might have a, a, a some kind of error in your calculation. So one of the things that you can do, you know, maybe we want to, um, we want to apply, you know, a, maybe we want to calculate the area of a circle, for example. Um, so let's say function circle area, We'll pass in the radius, and we can just say uh, var result is equal to 3.14 times radius times radius. But maybe we actually, you know, maybe we forget one of these when we make a change. Maybe we mess up one of these symbols. That's a pretty, it's pretty common to make these mathematical errors. Uh, we also might run into error problems with, uh, with the order of operations, you know, because let's say we want to do something like function diameter, or we'll say circle uh, circumference. There we go. Well, the formula for the circumference of a formula or of a uh, circle is um, 2 times pi times radius. But if we did something like return radius plus radius, because two radius times 2 is equal to uh, the diameter, times 3.14. Let's see here. Fix that. If we fix this one. So if we return this calculation, or if we say var result is equal to, and then we return the result if we want to be clean here, radius plus radius times 3.14. Well, that seems like the right thing to do. Uh, but if we actually come back in here, circle circumference, and we pass in, say, 10, we would expect that to be about 62 or so. And we probably had a typo in the name, cycle, circle circumference. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and, oh, we didn't, we didn't save. See, we're running into the same errors we're talking about. So that's not quite right. 41.4 doesn't look right. And that's because we haven't followed the order of operations. You know, this is going to occur before the addition. So we get radius 
plus, it would be like saying this, really, if we put parentheses around. It kind of works out the exact same way. So we don't want to do that. And one way that you can do that is you can always create multiple variables. So maybe what we would like to do is call var diameter. And we'll go ahead and create that variable. And we'll just say that's equal to radius times 2 or radius plus radius. Now we can use diameter to give us our result. And now that actually is going to give us the right calculation. If we save that, come back, now we'll see it's about 62.8. So that, that's pretty good too. Um, the last kind of error that you might run into, if you remember we, uh, we had strings where we were concatenating strings. So if I had function uh, join strings and we said string one, string two, and we were just going to return string one plus string two this actually this this plus sign it works two different ways it works for concatenating strings and it also works for adding values together so if I had if I wanted to use that join strings function if I did something like join strings and I said a and B it's gonna work exactly uh, again we probably didn't save our file here yeah we didn't save that one let's save that and here it's we're saying join strings string is not defined oh string there we go now let's fix that error we called that variable by the wrong thing so that's that's another error we might see so now we see a b which is is pretty much what we expect um, but because strings in in um, numbers are you know strings are concatenated together and numbers are added together we might see something different if we use join strings and say two and three instead because numbers are different so that's going to add the numbers together now if we did join strings with a and 5 will be okay it's going to give us a 5 likewise if we did join strings with 5 and B will also be fine so as long as one of these is a string it will perform concatenation so if both of them are strings one of them is a string or uh, or the other one is a string will always perform concatenation but if both of them are numbers we are going to end up with an addition there so a couple of things to keep an eye out on uh, some of these things might be a little bit confusing some of them might be hard to detect but if you keep uh, in mind that you might run into these errors you'll find that you can you can find them uh, and fix them much more quickly thanks for watching